Hey everyone, just a reminder, today is the last day to register for NomCon CTF before the competition starts tomorrow morning. So if you haven't heard, NomCon is a virtual conference being hosted by myself, NomSec, the Cyber Mentor, and Stoke. And I'm hosting the Capture the Flag, kind of just like I did for VersetCon, so I'm super duper excited for this one. All new challenges, tons of new challenges, and it's getting started tomorrow, June 12th at 8 a.m. PDT, running for 31 hours and going until June 13th at 3 p.m. PDT. So right now, we have just over 2,400 users registered, and I'm super duper excited because 2,500 is where VersetCon ended. At the very end of the game, that's how many users we had registered. So if before Friday morning, before the game starts, we're past 2,500, then we're doing better. We've got even better numbers than before VersetCon ended. We're starting on the con CTF even better than before. And there are tons and tons of challenges. And I'm so excited because all of these, I think, are really, really cool. Anyone can play. There are challenges that tailor to every single skill, every single, I guess, skill level, right? If, if you're feeling like, hey, I'm a, I'm a beginner. I don't know how well I'm going to do with this capture the flag. There are tons of warm-up challenges and that will slowly stretch you to more intermediate or advanced or complex stuff. So I'm really, really excited about it and I hope you guys play. There are, in fact, prizes. So if you go check out the rules page, there's some support. Hey, you can contact me on the Discord. You can contact anyone with the CTF help role in the Discord. And... We're going to be having capture the flag with a specific flag format because I think that's a good way to play. And that's just going to be simply flag. And there are prizes. So the first place team, and you can play as a team, right? Let me let me touch on that in a second. First place gets 500 US dollars. Second place gets 250 USD. And third place gets 100 USD. So you can play as a team. Registration and login is user-based because I think that makes a little bit more sense trying to just get into the game. Um, there is no limit to the amount of players you can have on a team. If you are working as a team, create one account and share that one account. So that way, all of your challenges that you solve are still illuminated. Hey, you've solved this. They're, they're checked. And that is the progress as a team. With that said, we are going to be releasing new challenges throughout the competition. Um, we did this last time with VersetCon and it had a little bit of mixed reviews. Some people really, really enjoyed the fact that we did it. Some people said, hey, it wasn't communicated all that well to some of the players and some guys got pretty frustrated about that. So what we're doing this time around is that there is a page for challenge releases and you can see when we're gonna be dropping one new challenge in what category and at what time, right? So that way you know, okay, I want to have my teammate here available for this, uh, for that specific category, because I know he or she is super duper strong in that category. And we want you to have something to look forward to if you're one of those high flying, super strong competitors. Uh, and we want to spice up the game and keep it fun. That does not mean that the game starts, oh, at 10 PDT when we say we have a new challenge release. That means that at the very, very start of the game, almost all of the challenges will be available and ready for you. At those two hour intervals, you can see on the challenge release schedule, we're gonna be releasing one challenge from a specific category just to keep things, I don't know, moving and in the mix so that you've always got something to do. My goal, right, and the, the hope in having a ton of challenges is that no one solves everything because I wanna maximize your training value, I wanna make the most out of your learning and your education, so that's why we're going to release as many challenges as we can at the very, very start. And every now and again, we'll slowly release more. So you've still got something to do and it's still super duper fun. Also, I forgot to say this, so I'm just editing it in. Um, I'm giving a talk at NomCon at the very, very end, just after the CTF ends to kind of go over, Hey, these are the people that did incredible things and helped make the game. So, so grateful. Thank you. And talk about some of the decisions that were made on how, what challenges we're going to put in, what we're going to take out, uh, the infrastructure, how it was all built, how it was all made. So please do catch that at 3.30 PDT on Saturday, June 13th, just after the competition ends. Um, I'd be grateful if you watch it because we do give some love and some special shout outs to the other people that helped me not do this entirely on my own. So thank you for that. Um, I am hoping to stream the beginning of the capital flag, like from my perspective, like, hey, as the admin, things are kicking off, people are registering, people are playing, the game is going to drop. Uh, what's that going to look like on the maintainer side? How, how am I going to be on fire? What 
people are going to need help, what things need to happen. So if anyone is interested at the very, very start of the game, I'll also try and be streaming with some of my team to showcase how that looks on that side of the house, not just the player, but from the organizer and the maintainer. Hopefully that'll be kind of cool. Hopefully that'll be kind of fun. Also, not only are we doing the Capture the Flag talk at the very end of NomCon, just like we did with the Versetcon, Con, I'd like to do it after the game stream just to chat with you guys, who any, anyone who has any questions and discuss a little bit more, or go more in the weeds on the feedback, what people say. We'll put out another Google form, etc. So those three things, streaming, the start of the game, so you guys get the perspective, the talk after the conference, and some of our perspective creating the game, and then after the fact of the CTF, we'll try and stream just to have a conversation with everyone that played. Hopefully they had a great time and just answer questions as more of them come in. So that's it. Please, please, please go register. I'm really, really excited about this game. It's bigger and better than Versetcon. There are a ton of great challenges. The challenges are just really, really fun and really, really cool. And I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I am, oh man, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm like nervous and excited and anxious because I got to do final testing today and I want to make sure everything is just right. But um, please go register. It'd be incredible to knock these registration stats, you know, like out the door because if we can get past the 2,500 before the start of the game, we're doing even better than VersetCon did. So go register link in the description https we got https and ssl set up ctf.nomcon.com please go play please join the discord server i'd love to see you there and i'm really really excited i hope you have a great time thanks